Welcome back. Chicken, jalapenos, and marmalade. Who would have thought these could come together to make a great meal? Uh, Chef Albert, that's who, and he joins <laughs> us now from our kitchen. And uh, Chef Albert, why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about uh, how this is done and why in the world you want to put marmalade in that thing? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh, so uh, first we're going to start with a marinade, and you can do this like at least four hours uh, ahead of time. So. Um, maybe before you go to work and then it'll be finished by the time you arrive home. Uh, it's basically soy sauce, some extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of garlic. Put your chicken in there, marinate it, and then when you get home, basically you put your chicken onto the stove, you're cooking it to make sure that uh, it's completely done. Mm -hmm. Look at that sizzle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and at the same time, you're working on your sauce. And the sauce, we take uh, some jalapenos and uh, basically we split them and take the seeds out, slice them up. Uh, we take a little bit of orange juice and a little bit of lime juice, um, saute that, and then uh, add some orange marmalade to finish it off with a little bit of ginger. And then we get this wonderful sauce here. Uh, okay. Chef, was there any particular uh, thing that inspired you on this dish? Is it what, what kind of a, um, of a roots does this come from? Is this like an Asian kind of dish or what? It is. And so, I mean, if you think General Tso's chicken, but without the fried chicken mm -hmm. uh, component, it's very similar. So, um, and uh, you know, I also have some jasmine rice here okay. uh, to finish it off. And so, keeping that warm, we will put a little bit of jasmine rice on the plate and take some of our chicken right mm. there and Top it with a little bit of the orange sauce and then some sesame seeds right on top just mm. to finish it up. Okay. It's looking good. Uh, Lenitra, what do you think? I mean, what's your, what's your first impression? It, well, it looks good. <laughs> yes, so, and it's been smelling good. We've been sitting here the whole show and I'm like, can't wait to get to it. <laughs> so thank you so much. And I guess Art and I are about to have our taste. Mm. Make sure we get some rice in here. I really like that uh, marmalade, the sweetness of it mixed mm -hmm. in there. Mm. What do you think, Lenutra? Delicious. Mm. Yeah, you can taste the marmalade and the jalapenos. It's not uh, too spicy. It's not spicy not at all. Hard. So, you know, we like a little kick anyway. We do. Very good. Mm -hmm. You know, our crew, we don't say this very often, but our crew out here, you know, the producers and all that, mm -hmm. they run into the studio when Chef Al Albert is here. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do it today, too, because he cooks enough for everybody. Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> plenty. We and like if you, you. Yeah. <laughs> and if you'd like to make it at home, the recipe, as always, is on our website, wctv.tv. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 